What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a quick training guide video on 99 shot power Roberto Carlos. That's what I'm going to call him. Uh, he's an absolute beast. Roberto Larcos lads who will remember him from the Pez days. This guy is a monster. He's a monster big time card, uh, an epic, uh, whatever you want to call him. He is from the 15th of May 02, so right in his prime, maybe just, yeah, maybe just a little bit away from his prime, but um, he was an absolutely insane player, lads, 29 years of age, and look at the look at the stats and the player skills with the unwavering form that he has. As a passer, you've got pinpoint crossing, outside curler, low loft to pass. As a guy that can shoot long range shots, you've got long range shot, knuckle shot, rising shot, and long range shooting. Then you've also got first time shot, acrobatic finishing, and uh, outside curler, which is huge for shooting and getting into those difficult areas if you're playing him as an advanced left midfielder, which is where I play him in my 3 5 2. So if you are looking to have somebody that's really offensive, he is your man on the left flank, especially if you want to have a, you know, a defensive enough left midfielder. But as a left back, he's not going to do anything for you defensively unless you manually defend or else you set up his deep line on him or something like that. OK, um, so we've got two versions of Roberto Carlos that we're going to talk through here. And as you guys have been asking me as well, I am actually going to do um, the additional skills as well for these versions. So the first one that we have with the 32 levels is going to be a Roberto Carlos that is completely offensive, right? This guy is a left midfielder. You can see here that, yes, this card is a 93 overall, but his left midfielder rating overall is going to be 98. So it's an insane card. And when you take a look at it, you'll see why, right? Most times when you get a left midfielder or a left winger playing left midfield in that 3-5-2 or even a 4-4-2 diamond where you've got that Manchester United classic of a holding and attacking midfielder and then a left and a right with Giggsy and Beckham uh, back in the pomp of United under Fergie, you always had that little kind of diamond formation with your two strikers and a very simple formation to attack with, okay? Hug the touch lines. Carlos is probably the best at a 3-5-2 where he can still get back and help out defensively, but it's going to be all about, you know, getting the ball into the box or else bombarding runs in. And usually you have to pick which you would like, whether you want a passer or a dribbler or else somebody that's got a really good engine on him. Carlos has got everything for a left midfielder. Look at the stats that we have here. So on top of having 92 curl and 86 free kicks with 75 finishing, he's also got 91 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 kicking power, 90 balance and 88 stamina. That 88 stamina is going to get a boost to bring it into the 90 zone with the form arrow because he's got unwavering form more often than not. Lofted pass is going to go to the 86, and then offensively, he is going to have everything, dribbling, everything. Now, if you are looking for an offensive build, I would definitely recommend putting on double touch, one touch pass, and true passing on this build, if you are looking for an offensive build on him, right? Similarly, we've got a defensive build. So all we've done here is to maximize his aggression, 16 points into defending, four into lower body and goalkeeper one to give the jump at an 80. You're still going to have your speed, acceleration, and kicking power all well into the 90s balance at 87 is key for this card but the biggest thing with this card lads is his offensive awareness set at 77 and his defensive awareness seven at 77 trust me if you play this card if you get carlos and you build this card like this he will be probably the best wing back in the game insane passing insane uh player skills for passing and also going to be an absolute defensive monster if you manually defend you're going to be able to chase harry annoy frustrate people by literally having 92 acceleration with 91 speed the balance when you come together with a, a physically stronger opponent you're going to be able to you know hold your shape hold your balance hold your cutting angles for the dribbling and then you've also got 88 aggression which is going to mean that when you are not manually controlling carlos defensively he's going to be super aggressive as an offensive fullback to get the ball back but as i said it's all about that engagement aggression and then balancing the offensive and defensive awareness at 77 a pop now if you are going to be training him as a defensive build i would definitely recommend putting on blocker interception man marking and fighting spirit and also one touch pass so he's going to take more of an investment but i think he's an absolute monster lads i genuinely do think he's one of the better players that they have released let me know what you think and that is just a quick training guide on roberto